Like, what are we all do? Are we on that or deep first? Deep first, all right. That would be my guess based on that. Liam Hennigan with the kick. Paul with Pogorski with the return for Glenn L. Tackled by Zolan Parker. Let's see if I can see personal wise. Let's see that big snipper. Yeah, number five in the game. That's the big snipper we've broken through game. That's going to be either I or it's going to be uh, the snipper. Glenn L. start up the 27 yard line, first and 10. Zach Coughlin with the carry, stopped by Jackson Coleman. They ran to the two sides. They just wanted to stretch the the tight, the tight here. It's it just it's like that beast formation almost. Illegal procedure against Glen L. That'll set it back five yards where it'll be second and 13. We, we bump in that motion. We should bump, bump and roll, correct? We still have CJ on this side. Uh, it looks like we're the same kind of formation. Paul Paworski with the carry. Luke. Lucas Tran with the tackle for Mary Bridge. It'll be third and twelve. Yep, yep, we're looking at triple, 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 triple. Hey, watch, watch roll out to come back. Roll out to come back. Passed by Zach and the fountain incomplete. That, that brings up fourth and twelve for Glen Elm.
Nick Pilato with the punt for Glen L. Mary Bridge will start out on their 21 yard line, first and 10. Richard Mills hands off to Roland Brooks, picks up about seven yards, and we're third and or second and five. Tackle by Nick Volaton, number twenty-two. That's that's what I saw. Pitch in the backfield recovered by Roland Brooks. Jack Hayden covers him up. It'll be third and about 17 for the Mustang. Richard Mills connects with Ellis O'Brien for the seven five yard game, tackled by Glen L. David Ajindu, where it'll be fourth and twelve. Glen L bounce. Glen L start out at about the 34 yard line, first and 10. Zach Coughlin with the run, Liam Wolfheimer with the uh, tackle. It will be second and nine. David Adendu with the catch. Alex Gladstone with the tackle. That's enough for a Glen L first down. It'll be first and 10 on the 21 yard line.
Zach Coughlin with the run. Sam Beat of Mustangs brings him down. It's enough for a first down where he'll be at the place at the nine yard line, first and goal for Glen Elm. I would watch the same thing again. They're coming back again. Yup, yup. A little better, about the six or seven. Seven. Zach Coughlin with the run picks up about four yards. It'll be second and goal at the five yard line. Quinn Sesto with a stop on that. Stephen Brunner with the tackle. Third and goal to two. Zach Coughlin with a touchdown run for Glen Elm. Riley Edmonds with the successful point after. It's seven to nothing in favor of Glen Elm. called for a legal procedure on the kickoff. That sets him back five yards.
Riley Edmonds with the kick. Arha Desponde brings it out to the 20-yard line, where Mustangs will start first and 10. Richard Mills connects with Arha Defunde, picks up enough for a Mary Bridge first down. Roland Brooks with the carry. Christian Chen on the tackle. Mary Bridge picks up two yards where it'll be second and eight. to Roland Brooks, two carries for about four yards, brings it to third and three. David Adjumbi with Shadudo with the tackle. About a yard and a half where we'll have fourth and about one at the 42 yard, yard line. Richard Mills hands off to Roland Brooks. Picked up enough for a Mary Bridge first down. CJ New Yorker with the carry picks up about four yards. Tackled by Logan Pushek and Will Pawarski. Sean is on me with the carry for Mary Bridge. There's flag down on the play. Uh, 
Glennell called for horse collar. Penalty will be enforced. That'll make it a Marriott Bridge first down. Mary Bridge keeping that chain gang moving. Thank uh, Bruce Brown, Roland Brooks, Terry Sestone, and of course, Terry Wolfsheimer for supervising that crew. Timeout taken by Mary Bridge. CJ New Yorker on the carry picks up about two yards. It'll be second and eight on the 35. And that is the end of the first quarter, where it's Glen L7, Mary Bridge 0. Richard Mills connects with Sean Azami. Tackle by David Ajindu. That's enough for a Mary Bridge first down. Richard Mills gets tackled in backfield by Connor Reeves. It'll be second and 18 for Mary Bridge. Thank you. 
Rolling Brooks with the carry gets stopped in the backfield by number 40, James Westcott. Richard Mills gets tackled by James Westcott in the backfield. That brings up fourth and a long way for Mary's Bridge. Liam Hennigan's punt gets taken back from the end zone. It'll be first and 10 on the 20 yard line. Zach LaFound home pass to Nick Lafada for a long game. Flag down on the play. Alex Gladstone with the tackle for Mary's Ridge. It appears that was a sideline warning against Glen L. Flag down on the play to hold against Glen L. The Glen L ball first and about 18 on the 35-yard line.
Zach LaFountain's pass incomplete. I would almost prefer that because right now that it's not in the very same zone. Yeah. I mean, it's a zero to cover the zone. Back inside here. He's coming right. Coming right. Zach LaFontaine with the incomplete pass. Quinn Sesson with pressure on the quarterback. Zach LaFontaine with the incomplete pass. That brings up fourth and 18. The incomplete pass that turns it over on down to Mary Bridge, where they'll start out their 35 yard line, first and 10. Mary Bridge Boosters Club would like to thank their gold sponsors First Call Medical Centers, Ryan Landscaping, and Waverly Insurance Group. Fumble in the backfield. Sean Adami covers it up. Mary Ridge will be second and 14 from the 31. Reminder of fans that the concession stands will remain open for the entire game. We also have deep fried Oreos. Mary Bridge delay of game. That'll be a five yard penalty. Brings up second and about 19 for the Mustang. Thank you. 
Ellis O'Brien with the catch from Richard Mills. Cole Renahan with the tackle. That brings up third and 11 for the Mustangs. Connor Reeves rushes Richard Mills for the unsuccessful pass. It'll bring up fourth and 11. Mary Bridge punt team on the field. Liam Hennigan's punt taken to the 40-yard line where it's down by Mary's Ridge. Glenn Elf saw it out first and 10. The Mary's Ridge Boosters Club would like to say thanks to their silver sponsors, Bagel Bin, the chief group of Compass, Conry Construction, Dugdale Dental, Dunsmore Exteriors, Galloway Pool Service, Howard County Oral and Maxiofacial Surgery, Kung Fu 12 Sejuan, Mad Chef Kitchen and Bar, Morgan and Associates, Mid-Atlantic Dental Brokers, Perry Moving, and Storage. Zach Coughlin with carry. Quinn Sestone with a stop after a three-yard game. will bring up second and seven for Glen Elf. Zach Coughlin with the carry. Luke Holland with the stop at the line of scrimmage. Penalty against Glenn Else. Holding penalty sets him back 10 yards. It'll be second and 18 at the 32 yard line. David Agendu takes the reception. Alex Gladstone pushes him out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Where will be first and 10 for Glen Elm. Would Sahan Pamajula, who was just at the concession stand, please go back to the concession stand? Zach LaFountain with the carry. Thank 
Quinn Sestone was the tackle in the backfield. That brings up third and ten for Glen Elm. Glenel takes a timeout. 2.56 remaining in the first half. Glenel 7, Mary Bridge 0. Zach LaFontaine connects with Paul Paworski, picks up enough for a Glen L first down. Zach Coughlin with the carry. Jackson Combe with the tackle. Brings up second and one for Glen Elm. Zach LaFontaine with the quarterback keeper. Picked up enough for a Glen Elm first down. At the 20 yard line. Incomplete pass for Zach LaFontaine. Second and ten for Glenno, one oh six remaining in the half. Trips, trips, trips. Break, break, see, break, see. 
Zach LaFontaine connects with Paul Paworski. That's enough for a first down. Brings up first and goal for Glen L with 59.7 seconds remaining in the half. Toss, toss right, toss right, toss right, toss right. Please come to the tackle. There we go. Zach Coughlin with carry. Picks up a few yards. It'll be second and goal on the three-yard line. Glen L takes a timeout. Jackson Coman and... Steven Brunner on the tackle. Coming up at halftime, the Palms will be performing as well as the Mary's Ridge marching unit. Christian Chen on the carry picks up a couple yards where it'll be third and goal at about the one yard line. Stopped by Quinn Sestone and Jackson Coleman. Quarterback keeper by Zach Lonfontaine. Short of a touchdown, it'll be fourth and less than a yard. Glenell takes their final timeout of the half. Glenell has the ball less than one yard to the goal line with 3.7 seconds remaining in the half. Zach LaFontaine with a quarterback keeper crosses the goal line for a Glen L touchdown. One for the point after the holder is Jordan, the kicker is Riley Evans. Point after is successful. There's a flag down on the play. How about you respond and then that won't happen? 
Well, then how come you didn't say this the first time? Referees are still conferring about that flag down on the point after. Mary Ridge High School would like to draw your attention to the palms performing on the track. recognize the seniors for the 2023 marching band. Sponsor, sponsors for the band include Waverly Insurance, Waverly Tag and Title, and Bubble Cat Boba Tea. Marriott Ridge High School presents the multi-state champion Mustang Marching Band. Drum majors are Aiden O and Arun Vida Nathan. The band is under the direction of Mr. Nick Ellis. The group is proud to present its 2023 marching show, Villainous. Music arrangements by Matt Trompaski. Field drill designed by Jerry Phillips. Percussion arrangements by Doug Jones and Andrew Pretzello. Visual design and instruction is by Anthony Gumera. Color guard design and character by Sidney Littman and Darcy Hildebrandt. Additional instructors and technicians include Grace Welsh, Natalie Pretzello, Mike Nolan, Julia Stroll, John Bailey, Jake Strovell, and Sasha Denebictus and Abe Amua. All right, seniors, are we ready? We'd like to recognize the following seniors for the marching band. First, Anthony Angarita. His parents are Al and Sharon Angarita and sister Isabel. Anthony plans to study physics in college. Next is Adam Chen. His parents, Ajun Chen and Daisy Zhao. He plans to study chemical engineering. Ray Chen. His parents, Zhuang Chen and Jin Shi, and sister Callie, plans to study computer science in college. Yes. Timothy Chen, father Gurong, and sister Christina Chen, he plans to study computer engineering. Will Fullerton, parents Josh and Michelle Fullerton, and siblings Blake and Melanie, he plans to study education or turf grass management in college. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Preston Hong, parents Kelvin and Jessica Hong. He plans to study math and computer science and has loved traveling to different locations for marching band competitions. 
Serena Hyun, parents Zen Hu, Hung, and Fang Tian, and sister Shay Li, plans to study business in college. Isaac Lee, parents Regine and Dawn, and siblings Abigail and Noah, plans to study dentistry, hopefully at College Park. Rachel Lee, parents Jun Lee and Shung Hong Yang, and brothers Brandon and Jason, plans to study computer science in college. Aiden Ho, parents Chang and Aaron Ho, plans to major in computer science and minor in music. Elaine Park. Amit Reddy. Parents Mahesh and Prathiba Reddy plans to study college um, computer science in college. Good. Nathan Zhang. Parents Ken and Susan Zhang. Siblings, Marcus and Miranda, and brother-in-law, Nathan Stricker. Nathan's favorite band memory is playing at the Towson University Stadium and getting to hear Towson University perform. And finally, Roger Zhu. Parents, Chang Gang Zhu and LeQuin Jiang and sister Amy. Plans to study computer science, applied math, and has enjoyed the time he has spent with his friends in marching band. And while the band gets into their formation, I have the winning ticket for tonight's 50-50. Tonight's winning ticket is a red ticket. Ticket number 4027787. Again, red ticket 4027787. If you have that winning ticket, please come to the announcer's booth. Nope. But I got an update. Okay. It seems like I can now stabilize at 60 frames. I'm going to try that tonight and see how that looks. Please welcome the Marietridge High School Marching Band performing their 2023 program.
Just a reminder that the kids' session stand is still open. We have pizza, Chick-fil-A, and a whole host of other goodies, including deep fried Oreos. Yeah. No. 
You know how to play against tic tac toes. I like R's and G's and O's. I don't really play no tic tac toes. Give me something high and low. You see my last one, they froze. There's no cameras with my pose. Just like that one time at Tello. Good thing I don't play no pain. Stay in pieces with your woes. You start dipping and getting in the pose. They do anything except rolls. Take my feet on my face. I don't have time for the way to go. Catch my feet and get in the face. Run to the old stuff, pick in the old. Versace Hotel and I'm taking a roll. Give me the person I'm seeing in the bowl. So give me the last one. Riley had been set to kick off for Glen L. Mary Free received to start the second half. Arha Desendi brings it out for Mary's Ridge to the 28-yard line where they'll start first and 10. Roland Brooks with a carry up the middle, picks up enough for a Mary Ridge first down. Logan Putchek with the tackle. Roland Brooks continues to run for about four yards, picks up enough. It'll be second and six at the 50-yard line. Tackle by Grayson P. Roland Brooks with the carry picks up about a yard behind the offensive line of Daniel Gehring, Casey Sullen, Breeden Payne, Boston Brown, Jelani Anderson, and Ryan Manlove. Richard Mills connects with Roland Brooks. Short of a fourth down, I say short of a first down will be fourth and four at the 47. David Jindu with the stop. Liam Hennigan on for the punt. Cole Renahan signals fair catch at the 21-yard line where they'll start out first and 10.
Will Borski with the carry. Liam Wolfsheimer with the tackle. Brings up a second and eight for Glen Elm. Correction, C.J. New Yorker with the tackle. Zach Coughlin with the carry. Boston Brown to stop. Brings up third and seven for Glen Elm. David Ajindu with the reception after a Zach LaFontaine pass. Picks up enough for a Glenel first down. Alex Gladstone with the tackle for Mary's Ridge. down on the field the referees are conferencing after a conference the referees decided it was an illegal procedure on Glen L that sets them back five yards where it'll be first and 15 at the 30-yard line. That call from carries for about three yards. It'll be second and 12. Quinn Sestone and Jackson Coleman on the tackle. Zach Coughlin with the carry. Luke Collin with the tackle. Third and about 10. Very 
Zach LaFontaine's throw is high. Flag down on the field. Roughing the passer. That takes the ball out to the 50-yard line for Glen L, where they'll start first and 10. Christian Chen on the reception takes it out about three yards. Luke Holland with the tackle. Second and seven on the 47 yard line. Zach LaFontaine's pass incomplete. Brings up third and seven at the 47 yard line for Glen Elm. Pitch to Jack Coughlin, picks up a couple yards where it'll make it fourth and about four. Quinn Sestone with the tackle. Nick Pilato with the kick goes out of bounds about the 16 yard line where Mary Church will start out first and 10. Arhat is Bendy with Terry takes it out just shy of the first down. It'll be second and about one and a half for Mary Fred. Yes, 
Roll Brooks with the carry. Enough for a Mary Bridge first down. Glenel tackle by Logan Pushek and Grayson He. Richard Mills pass incomplete. with the carry, picks up about three yards of the flag down the play. Wait. Appears to be an unsportsmanlike foul called against Glen L. Save the Jindu down. He's back up, walking off on his own. After the enforcement of the penalty, it'll bring the ball out to the 44-yard line where Mary Bridge will start first and 10 with a first down. CJ New Yorker brings it out to about the 48 yard line. Richard Mills pass intercepted by Paul Pawarski. It'll be first and 10 for Glen L on the 45 yard line. One minute remaining in the third quarter. Daniel Gehring with the tackle after the interception. Will Borski with the run picks up about a yard. Jackson Coleman with the tackle. Yes. 
same while we play Jay. So much better than we play Paul. The same fucking concept. I, yeah, so we get terrified that the guy's going to run over us and make us look stupid. <laughs> Front short side. Hey, bump, bump, bump. None of these fuckers are bumping. None of them are bumping. We're getting shredded on it again. Jesus Christ, guys. Pitch to Zach Coughlin. He picks up a couple yards where it'll be third and five at the 40 yard line. And that'll take us to the end of the third quarter. Glen L, 14. Mary's Ridge, zero. Paul Pawarski picked up about four yards, where it'll be fourth and one at the 41-yard line. Quinn Sestone with the tackle for Mary's Ridge. Paul Pawarski runs up the middle, picked up enough for a Glenall first down. Flag down on the play. Referee called a chop block against Glenell. That sets them back 15 yards to their own 49-yard line. That'll be fourth and 16 for Glen Elm. Nick Pilato won the punt. Nick Pilato's punt goes out of bounds at about the 20-yard line where Mary Street will start first and 10. Roland Brooks on the carry. 
Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Nick Volatow with the tackle for Glen L. It'll be second and ten. Richard Mills connects to Arha Deshpande. Enough for a Mary Bridge first down. Paul Borski with the stop for Glen Elm. Richard Mills pass is incomplete. CJ New Yorker gets the pitch, runs out about five yards where it'll be third and six. James Westcott with the tackle for Glen Elm. CJ New Yorker on the carry picks up a couple yards, not enough for a first down. It'll be fourth and two. David Ajindu and James Westcott on the tackle for Glen Elm. Flag down appears to be a false start against Mary Bridge. That set up back five yards. Richard Mills pass is incomplete. That will result in a turnover on down. Glenn L will get the ball at the 35-yard line. Students at this time, if you are expecting a ride, please contact that ride and have them pick you up. It's about seven minutes remaining in the game. Yeah, it is. 
is a, it is a, this is. CJ New Yorker with the tackle in the backfield. Glenn Elf seems a loss of about three yards on that play. Nick Pilato on that carry. Zach Coughlin runs up the center, gets a couple yards back. It'll be third and nine. Will Porosky with the reception picks up a few yards. CJ New Yorker with the tackle. That brings up fourth down and eight for Glen Elm. Penalty against Glenn all delay of game. Nick Pilato's punt is down at the two-yard line where Marriage Bridge will start first and ten. Again, a reminder, students, if you are in need of a ride home, this is the time to contact that ride and have them pick you up in about five minutes. Roland Brooks gets the carry, brings it out about eight yards where it'll be second and a long one for the Mustangs.
Richard Mills connects with Arhoff to Sunday. Enough for a Mary Bridge first down. Richard Mills' pass is incomplete. Flagged down in the backfield by the referee. Roughing the passer against Glenell. That brings the ball out to the 30-yard line where Mary's Bridge will start first down. Rich Richard Mills with the incomplete pass. Nick Volatol with the tackle. Richard Mills incomplete pass on second down. That brings up third and ten for the Mustangs. Richard Mills with the screen pass to Ellis O'Brien. Carries out it out enough for a first down. However, it looks like there's a flag down on the far side. Illegal man downfield for Mary Bridge. Another flag down thrown very high in the other side of the field. Flag, 
The referees initially called an eligible receiver downfield. Then, after a conference, they canceled that. Mary's Ridge retains their first down at the 42-yard line. That was a video review up in the booth, I think. Connor Reeves with the sack of Richard Mills in the backfield. Richard Mills pitches the ball to Sean Azami, who then throws to Tony Amato with that reception. Richard Mills is passes incomplete. That brings up fourth and eight at the 44 yard line for Mary Bridge. The offense stays on the field. Mary's Ridge takes time out with two minutes and six seconds remaining in the game. Richard Mills rolls out, passes incomplete. It'll be a turnover on downs. Glen L starts at the 44 yard line. Two minutes remaining in the game.
Will Porsky with the carry tackled in the backfield by Stephen Brunner. Loss of about six on the play. Brings up second and 16 at the 49. Mary Tridge calls timeout. Zach LaFountain with the carry. Mary Fridge calls timeout. Steven Brunner with the tackle again on that play. Kaylin Love with the tackle. Kenny Barnes with the carry for Glenell brings up fourth and four for Glenell. Glennell call for delay of game. Glennell brings on their punt team. Mary for a fumble recovered by Glen L. They'll get the ball at the twenty yard line.
fans, we ask that you please look around you, pick up the trash, and dispose of it properly on your way out tonight. Glenel takes a knee, and that'll wind down the clock. Tonight's final score, Glenel 14, Marriage Ridge 0. Again, fans, we ask that you please remove the trash that you see around you. Thank you for attending tonight's game. We ask that you please gather up your personal belongings and head towards the exit at this time.